okay so what we uh, what we are going to do today so first we will start with the maximum height attended by the body so let us say that maximum height attended by body right Okay. Diagram will remain the same. Uh, what we have drawn in the last class. Okay. That is projectile diagram. Uh, you might be remembering this diagram. so this is we can say that the maximum height attended by the uh, body so this will be the h max so can i say that at this point velocity will be zero v will be equals to zero because at maximum height the velocity is zero and also we know that when we resolve this into two components so this will be cos component and uh, Will be the sine component. Oh. Okay. So can I? Acha. We have already studied the equation. So this is angle suppose theta. This will be u cos theta. This will be u sine theta. This is u. So we can say that. the maximum or at the maximum height at the maximum height maximum height can i say that velocity will be equals to zero do you agree with this at maximum height velocity will be zero also can i say that according to according to equation of motion of motion so what happens according to equation of motion can i say that according to equation of motion v square equal to u square plus two g two as होता है basically two as but we know that for vertical motion for vertical motion for vertical motion s will be taken as h that is height u will be taken as u sin theta a will be taken as minus g okay and uh, v will be zero at maximum height that we have already written any doubt till here beta sabko samajh mein aaya Did you understood everything? Okay. So, if we'll substitute these all values, so we'll say that from first, second, and third, this will be zero. This will be u square sine square theta. This will be minus two g h. So we can say that two g h is equals to u square sine square theta. So we can say that h will be equals to u square 
h is equals to u square sine square theta upon two g. So this is the formula for maximum height attended by the projectile. Did all this is clear, beta? Did you understood this? Say, say yes or mute or oh, God, I'm muted, yeah. Okay, <laughs> just copy this, then we'll move ahead. Okay. Okay. And now very important to 
a relation between relation between maximum r maximum range basically maximum range and height so can i say that the range the range of the projectile the projectile is given by R is equal to u square sine two theta upon g. तो पता ही है तुमको? है ना? We have derived this. Now we know that for maximum range, for maximum range. Theta is equals to forty-five degree. So, therefore, we can say that R will be equals to, or R max will be equals to u square by g. Is it clear? Because sine ninety will be one, so that is the reason I have written this as one, and we have got R is max is equals to u square upon g. We can write it here like this: sine two theta is equals to one, since theta is equals to forty-five degree. Sine ninety is equals to. So this is now. So I'm writing here. For maximum height, we have just uh, derived the formula, and this is we can say that the height attended by the projectile projectile. So can I say that just now we have derived h is equals to u square sine square theta by two g. अब theta की तो value हमें मिल गई है. So we can say that since theta is equals to forty five, substitute here. So h will be equals to u square sine square forty five upon two g. Now sine forty five is nothing but one by root two. So u square upon one by root two ka square upon two g. So we can say that u square upon four g. Yes, समझ में आया यहाँ तक? Root two square will be two. Two into two will be four. समझा बेटा है? Eight eight no. Say it again. Okay. See, uh, sine forty five was one by root two, so I written one by root two. One by root uh, root two square will be one by two, and one by two will get multiplied with this two, so this will become four. Okay. है ना बिकॉज सी वन बाई टू अपॉन टू कैन बी रिटर्न एज वन बाई फोर सो दिस इज फोर नाउ कैन आई से दैट एच इज इक्वल टू वन बाई फोर यू स्क्वायर अपॉन फोर जी यू स्क्वायर अपॉन जी 
बट वॉट इज यू स्क्वायर अपॉन जी सो वी कैन से दैट एच इज इक्वल्स टू आर मैक्स बाई फोर सो आर मैक्स विल बी इक्वल्स टू फोर एच और फोर स्मॉल एच नथिंग Is it clear? Yeah. Just make a note of this.
So, do you have your technique right now with it? Now in your textbook, I'm telling you the page number. Question number uh, fifth, you can solve page number 45. Question number five. A man throws a ball to a maximum horizontal distance. Well. Which page number? Page 45. And question number? Question number five. Five or four? Third five. Yeah. The answer? Which formula you did you use? The R max formula. Understood, Nabita? The R max formula. The... Yeah, R, this, this is the relation which we derived. R max equals to 4 into H max. Over H. So 80 by 4 will be 20, I guess. Okay, not bad. Now just try to solve question number one, third one. Third one. Need uh, that question. So much may I have to bolo naito, then let me know. I will solve that.
Okay. okay. Um, I I use the formula S is equal to U D plus half it is square. Uh -huh. Then I use the formula of velocity. Like final velocity. Okay. Let's have a look here. Uh, the question says an aeroplane has a run run of uh, eight uh, five hundred meter. So can I say that distance is five hundred meter? To take off from the runway, it starts from rest. So initial velocity will be zero. And uh, moves with a constant acceleration to cover the runway in thirty seconds. So time they have given is thirty seconds. Okay, what is the velocity of the aeroplane at the takeoff? So, V is equal to question. See, let's let's try a simple method. Velocity is equal to distance upon time. For example, so five hundred upon thirty. So velocity is equal to fifty by three. That is meter per second. 
but they have asked question kilometer per hour kilometer per hour so can i say that this will be 50 by 3 into 18 by 5 18 by 5 let's see whether hora i can hora then we'll find some other method so 5 by 18 you know understood why i have taken 5 by 18 okay theek hai because see when we convert kilometer when we convert from kilometer per hour then we multiply by 5 by 18 to convert it into meter per second in order to convert from meter per second to kilometer per hour then it will be 18 by 5 cross multiply by 5 biscuit is there jaane to koi do de dusra de do dusra hi de do koi ek de so this will be 18 by 5 if you will cross multiply this 18 by 5 kilometer per hour is it clear to yeah. per second so that i have done here but let's see this is hora ki nahi hora so this will be 10 3618 so this is 60 okay so this will not be the method because why this will not be a method see ye to tumhare generally thought mein aaya hoga na ki aise hum log kar dete hain tumne aise hi kiya hoga barabar yes I will take the other formula first. Not an issue. We should understand that where are the mistakes going on. Okay. So the second equation we have, second we what we can use. See here. Pay attention to both. You can use v equals to u plus u plus a t. Correct. From here we can find the acceleration. Okay. Okay. But here they have not given the final velocity okay not, not the acceleration so this will not be used now we have second equation v square equal to u square plus 2as now here also acceleration is not given getting my point and moving ahead s is equals to ut plus half a t square can I calculate acceleration from this? No. Yeah, I, have, I am doing all this because you should understand So let's see. Let's find acceleration. So this is 500 they have given. This is half. And this is A. And this is T cos square will be 900. Can I say that? 30 cos square will be 900. Na? Yeah. Okay. So this zero will get cancelled can i say that these two zero will cancel with this two, two zero now this will get multiplied to this so a will be n by yes yes okay so now now very important now what you can do you can substitute this equation substitute this value in this equation so or what you can do you can substitute over here also so this is v equals to 10 by 9 into 30 so this is three threes are nine and one zero correct so we will be equals to 100 by three is it clear yeah. then you just convert it now you, again you have to convert this into meter per second correct yeah. so how to uh, wait wait ten yeah, so I will cal calculate that also. So 18 by 5, correct? Yeah? So this is 20. 3, 6, 18. 
कैन आई से दस नाउ दिस विल बी वन ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर पर आवर समझ में आया बेटा नाउ चेक द आंसर दिस इज द ओनली आंसर आई ऑलरेडी गॉट द आंसर ओके सो डिड यू यूज दिस मेथड आई यूज दैट मेथड सो ओवर हियर नियर द वी आई वाज स्टक एट मीटर पर सेकंड देन when he told me that i have to convert it that way that was the only missing thing so i converted it and i got the answer very good okay so you uh, even write uh, down this method also दिमाग में कभी ये आता है ना कि ये वाला मेथड यूज करने का करना है तो वी कैंट यूज दिस मेथड वाई विल नॉट यूज दिस मेथड बिकॉज दिस मेथड इज यूज ओनली वेन द बॉडी विल बी स्टेशनरी और विथ यूनिफॉर्म वेलॉसिटी ठीक है ना जस्ट ट्राई द सेकेंड पार्ट सेकेंड क्वेश्चन हेलो या बोलिए गुड मॉर्निंग
डिड यू गॉट द आंसर बेटा ओके वेरी गुड नाउ गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अच्छा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेट 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 या थर्ड वन बट बिफोर गोइंग टू दैट क्वेश्चन आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग वन क्वेश्चन ऑन द बोर्ड कार इज मूविंग फ्रॉम ए टू बी देन बी टू सी हियर इट इज कंसिडर कवरिंग अ डिस्टेंस टोटल डिस्टेंस इज डी हाफ ऑफ द डिस्टेंस इज कवर्ड विथ स्पीड ऑफ फोर्टी किलोमीटर पर आर and remaining half is 20 km per hour okay remaining is 20 km per hour find the distance uh, i'm sorry find the average velocity only this much data is given and you have to find the average velocity can you try Yeah. Just, yeah. Just give it a try. There's no dis- there's no distance given, right? No, they have only mentioned half of the distance by forty kilometer per hour and remaining half by twenty kilometer per hour. Should I solve? Okay, see you. Average velocity. Can I? I have said that total distance upon total time taken. ये हम लोगों ने किया था. Yeah. Okay. So now, can I say that given it will move from A to B, that is the time will be t one, and from B to C, the time will be t two, because here we are forty is going, here we are twenty is going, so time is different now. Okay. Yeah. So can I say that uh, t one is equals to sorry velocity of the distance upon time. Na? So t one will be equals to. D one, so distance is half. So can I say that D, that is d by two upon velocity is forty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll I'll write it as d by two forty. Similarly, t two is equals to d upon two into twenty. End out. No doubt. Okay. So v average is total distance. So total distance is d, and this is d by two into forty plus d by two into twenty. Can I take d by two common? Yeah. Here I'm writing. So v is equals to d by two common. So d upon d by two into Twenty plus forty upon twenty into forty. So this d get cancelled, and this will move into numerator. So two into twenty into forty upon sixty. So this get cancelled. Two threes are six. So four twos are eight. Sorry, you correct, na? Four twos are eight. Or eight ten will be there, na? So four two is eighty by three. So this will be three four is ah uh, three two is point. 
3 2 is a 8 uh, 3 2 is a 6 plus 2 so 3 6 is a 18 point 3 6 is a hana so v average will be equals to 26.6 km per hour देख लो जरा Okay. Done? Yeah. Okay. Now, next part is the graph. जो नेक्स्ट वाला क्वेश्चन है ना वो इससे सॉल्व करना है जैसे हम लोग ने किया हेलो कर दिया सर अभी मैंने अभी ध्यान दिया ज्यादा नहीं ज्यादा नहीं हुआ ना हाँ ठीक है सर अभी उधर देखा हाँ <laughs> वही ना पढ़ा ही रहा हूँ ना एक मिनट एक मिनट बताओ एक्चुअली मेरा मेरा मीटिंग चालू था ना कॉलेज का और मैं इधर पढ़ा रहा था उन लोगों को सुनाई दे रहा था ठीक है अब ग्राफ में देखो जरा ग्राफ में द फर्स्ट वो ग्राफ इज एक्सटी ग्राफ ठीक है then vt graph oh sorry vt graph good morning 
सो एक्सटी ग्राफ बी टी ग्राफ अब एक्सटी ग्राफ से क्या मिलता है so from the slope of xt graph we will get velocity from slope of vt graph we will get acceleration sheet is from virtual folder sorry i think there is a time table for the time table and the time table so ye acceleration ho jayega theek hai so this is xt time graph means velocity uh, sorry displacement time graph and vt matlab velocity time graph is it clear Now, the first one is body at rest. Body at rest. Now, what happens at body at rest? So, what happens at body at rest? So this is x. This will be displacement, and this will be time. Okay. Apart from this, uh, the timetable that was set on the roof stays the same. So see. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
अंडरस्टूड टिल बेटा जस्ट मेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस लैक ऑफ बर्थडे Okay. Done. Done, Mita. Okay. So remaining we'll do in the next class. Okay. 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 Okay.